Hello, today I will be discussing about some assumptions of classical regression model. And as you know, there are 10, uh, near about 10 assumptions of classical regression model. I will clarify one by one. Okay. Now, this is the uh, simple regression equation and wh uh, y i is the dependent variable, x i is the independent variable, and beta 1, beta 2 are the two mm, parameters and you will the disturbance term. Okay, as you know, because mm, if you uh, consider y is a mm, uh, support this conjunction, y represents the conjunction, and this is the x, it is income. So conjunction not only depends on income, it depends on other things such as wealth and mm, and also the attitude. So there are a number of things, a uh, number of things on which the uh, dependent variable actually depends. So the omitted variable is considered, omitted variables are considered in mm, UI terms. Okay, UI terms. So mm, this is the, uh, and here we don't be the two other two parameters. So it is the simple, simple regression equation. Now, the first assumption is a linear regression model. That is the mm, conditional expectation of uh, y. Uh, y is a linear function of the parameter. Okay, the linear function of parameter. That is, if you, mm, it, it, it is a linear function here, beta hat has no power. Uh, beta hat, beta two, beta two uh, has no power. So this is a linear regression model. This is the linear regression model in the parameter. Uh, the parameters, the expectation of yi, the expectation of yi, um, is a linear, a linear, linear regression model with the parameter. So this is the linear regression model. Okay, understand? Because beta one has the power one, one, uh, one. So now the second addition, the x values are fixed in repeated sampling. If this the values of x, it will take uh, number of samples and uh, number of samples. The x values are fixed. Okay, its values are fixed. Uh, so in that sense, the uh, the second assumption is uh, is that the x values are fixed in repeated um, in repeated sampling. Okay, so we can say that x is technically uh, non-stochastic. Non-stochastic. Uh, suppose. Uh, uh, in this uh, regression equation, this is the conjunction, this is the income, and if you um, if you uh, consider uh, rupees five hundred, rupees five hundred for um, fixed for um, for a family, and you can uh, you can get um, suppose uh, suppose conjunction is three hundred. And with the uh, with keeping fixed x value, uh, that is the 500, and you uh, go to another family, and their consumption is suppose 200, and uh, with the uh, with uh, with with 500 um, income, you go to another family, and you can get the information that 400 is the consumption. So x values are fixed in repeated sampling. Okay, sampling uh, is. Uh, is repeated and here the x value is fixed. So this adaptation is there in the linear regression model. So x i is technically non stochastic. Zero mean value of disturbance ui, disturbance term that is ui, zero mean value that is the mean of ui. If you add in the conditional mean, the expectation of ui is equal to zero. The, uh, this means that. Okay, zero mean expectation of UI is equal to zero, and homoscedasticity or equal variance of UI and UI that is the variance. Variance means variance means expectation of UI minus minus expectation of UI uh, whole square. Okay, this is the variance. This is the variance. Suppose look at this. Mm, I am writing here. Suppose variance of UI, variance of variance, variance of UI, UI, variance of UI equal to 
be equal to variance of ui is equal to expectation of expectation of ui ui minus expectation of expectation of ui ui expectation of ui and then there is a whole square this is the variance now look at this expectation of ui is zero as i have mentioned in my mm, third dimension so this is zero so what remains expectation of ui equal to expectation of expectation of ui expectation of ui whole square okay this is uh, so this is this is the equal value this is called this is the this is the sigma this is the, this is the sigma the variance in the sigma squares okay the sigma square the variance is variance of ui is constant this is called the homoscedasticity okay this is called the homoscedasticity and mm, and this is the fourth assumption of the classical classical regression model so this is the mm, this is the uh, this is the fourth assumption okay now there is another assumption look at this now there is another assumption that is a no auto correlation between the disturbances no auto correlation between the disturbances okay so uh, so look um, what i am saying is here is that no auto correlation what is the auto uh, no auto correlation that is covariance between uh, ui and uz ui and uz um, equal to zero so there is no other correlation ui and uz what is the ui in the covariance? covariance ui and uz is equal to expectation of ui minus expectation of ui and multiplied with the uh, expectation of uz minus expectation of uz so uh, expectation so this is this uh, ultimately will be zero so this is the um, if the this assumption is hold then you can say no auto correlation is there now zero covariance between ui and xj at this in the same way as i mentioned in the uh, in assumption five that the uh, covariance between ui and xi is equal to zero that is the covariance of ui and xi is that the uh, expectation of ui minus minus uh, minus expectation of ui multiplied with expectation of xi minus expectation of the xi so um, this should be zero this should be zero so zero covariance between ui and uz this is the disturbance term and this is the this is the this is the independent variable so both are completely independent and in that case the zero covariance is there now the number of observations um, observations must um, number of the n must greater than the number of parameters to be estimated okay this uh, this simple assumption the number of observation uh, should be greater than the number of parameters in my regression a simple regression equation there is two parameters that is the beta 1 and beta 2 the variability in x values look it is important because variability in x values is important okay if there is uh, no uh, variability then you can say that um, as you know as you know as you know now as you know the variance of sample um, uh, as you know the variance of sample uh, sample variance of xi is equal to the expectation of xi minus uh, x bar whole square divided by n minus 1 n is the number of observation okay um, that is uh, that is very uh, the variance of sample is um, yeah, you can you can uh, write uh, you can write in that way that summation xi minus x bar uh, whole square divided by n minus one and x bar um, is the x bar is the if if 
uh, if there is no variability variability in x values, then um, then you can find that x i will be equal to x bar. If x i will be equal to x bar, then x bar and x bar will be zero. So variance will be zero. So in that in that case, there is a problem. So variability in x value should be there technically. Okay, this is the eight number assumptions of the simple of the classical regression model. Now the regression model is correctly specified. Suppose the regression model is that um, is that uh, uh, y depends upon uh, depends upon uh, x and y, uh, x and Mm, uh, x and x and uh, z x and z two independent variable and this should be the regression model mm, suppose y equal to alpha plus beta uh, y i equal to alpha plus beta uh, x i plus gamma uh, z i mm, plus u y and and uh, and if you you uh, you completely Mm, have mis uh, mistaken and write the y i equal to alpha plus beta x i and omitted the value and omitted uh, the independent variable z i then the regression will be misspecified and so regression model uh, should be correctly specified mm, correctly specified so this is an um, the assumption of uh, assumptions of uh, the important assumptions of the linear uh, classical Regression model, and there is no perfect multicollinearity. Multicollinearity uh, should not be there. Multicollinearity should not be there. What is the multicollinearity? Multicollinearity is the independent variables. Suppose um, that is, there is no perfect linear relationship among the explanatory variables. Okay, among the explanatory variables, among the independent variables. As I have mentioned in uh, in this um, regression equation, that is y i equal to alpha plus beta x i plus uh, gamma z i plus u i, and uh, there should not be any uh, any relation between x i and z i. So um, the x i and z i are the independent variables, are the explanatory variables. So there is no perfect linear relationship among the explanatory variables so this is the mm, this is the uh, these are the 10 uh, assumptions of the uh, of the classical regression model and i hope um, you got the point and, uh, and 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 thank you very much for enjoying this lecture